I know just how difficult it could be to find breakfast here in the Walt Disney World parks. It's 9 a.m. in Magic Kingdom and I'm pretty hungry. So today I'm going to show you guys all the places you could grab breakfast here in the park. It's not often I get to Magic Kingdom early enough to actually get breakfast. And if I'm being honest, this is going to be my first time trying all of these foods. I've heard really great things about so many of these breakfast delights, so I'm really excited to try them out. Let's head right into Tomorrowland for stop number one. Here at the Lunching Pad, they're serving breakfast from 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. and they actually have two options on the menu. And naturally, I ordered both. Also, it is like exactly 9 o'clock and everyone is starting to come in the park. Everyone's worried about getting on the rides, going on a space mountain. No, I'm worried about rope dropping the lunching pad. We have acquired our first two foods and first I'm going to try the breakfast bowl. This has potato barrels topped with a cheese omelet, chili con carne, queso, and sour cream for $10.79. And guys, the photos and videos that I've seen of this online doesn't do it justice. Like it is so much larger than this video is showing. Like this is huge. This legit has to weigh at least two to three pounds. Like this, this is a lot of food. From the looks of it, it's gonna be easily shareable. It may be a big portion, but let's see how it tastes. Honestly, this is better than I thought it was gonna be. The tater tots are loaded with all of this stuff on top and I thought it was gonna like compromise the crispness of the tots, but honestly, they're still really crispy. The flavor of that chili con carne queso is really nice. The egg omelet, that's the main thing I was worried about. You know, sometimes when you get like these Disney eggs, these Disney buffet eggs, it tastes like super rubbery and just, just not good. This one, I don't know if it's because it's masked by the massive amount of cheese and dairy on here, but the egg omelet is also good. I really enjoy the freshness from the touch of pico de gallo on top. The only thing I think this could use is a little bit of hot sauce. I think some hot sauce on here would re be real good. It's not, it's not spicy. Like you hear chili con carne queso and you might think it's a little spicy. It's not, it's really good. It just could be spicier. I just like spicy food, so hot sauce makes everything better. This is definitely a really heavy meal though, so I would suggest probably splitting this one. Maybe get the um, breakfast bowl and the little sweet dessert breakfast offering here. Share them with people and uh, then you'll save more room for all the food you're gonna eat for the rest of the day. And speaking of our sweet breakfast offering here at the Lunching Pad, we still have to try that. This is the Sticky Bubble Bread. It's sweet bread rolled in cinnamon, caramel, and warm spices for $5.79. And I must say, while the breakfast bowl was huge, this is very tiny. You can see the top here kind of has like a nice caramelization from like sugar. The sugar has kind of crystallized on the top. And they did let me know that they're out of the sauce that they usually drizzle on top of this. It's looking like a little bit of a monkey bread though. So we'll, we'll break ourselves off a piece and try this out. The flavor is there. It's just a little bit dry. I think that caramel sauce that they're supposed to drizzle on top would definitely help this. And another thing that I think would make this like a lot better is maybe some cream cheese frosting on top. I think the caramel sauce would have kind of like seeped in between the little pull apart places and made for like a gooey kind of center like a cinnamon roll has. And like I said, that cream cheese frosting, this could really use it. Um, I probably wouldn't get this one again. Breakfast number one down and we still have so much more to go. We're on our way to Friar's Nook now. I don't know if we're gonna be able to catch them because it looks like the ride is just stopping. But on our way to Friar's Nook, I noticed that the Mad Hatter and Alice are actually riding the teacups. Oh my gosh. Usually characters riding the attractions is something that only happens in Disneyland. And I think it kind of just makes Disneyland as a whole feel just so much more magical. And so seeing uh, Alice and the Mad Hatter on the teacups, honestly, it made me so happy. It's so, I wish they would do more stuff like that. It just seems like so casual. And there's just something about it that I absolutely love. So glad I got to catch that. Okay, we need to get back on track with the breakfast food. And since we were over by the teacups, I did want to highlight one other thing, the Cheshire Cafe. At the Cheshire Cafe here in Fantasyland, they serve, I guess what you could call breakfast. They have iced coffee and hot coffee, and they also have the Cheshire Cattail. The Cheshire Cattail is essentially like a chocolate croissant, just with um, purple and pink icing on it. 
I know it is a fan favorite here in Magic Kingdom. It's so many people's favorite treat. A lot of people, it's a must have for them. For me personally, I'm not the biggest fan. I think it just tastes like a basic chocolate croissant. I think it's really fun though with the icing drizzle on top. So that's another option for you. It's here all day though, so I'm not gonna get it like included in this video. Um, but that's something that you could get pretty much all day. They, I think they close probably a little bit early, maybe around like six. Always check the hours of these places because stuff here at Disney World closes really early, but yeah. Cheshire Cattail, another thing you could get for breakfast. And while strolling through Fantasyland, there is one other place that I have to mention that I won't be trying today because it's, again, it's another thing that's here all day long from Gaston's Tavern, you guessed it, the cinnamon roll. The cinnamon roll from here at Gaston's is another fan favorite. Something that is probably, again, a lot of your guys' favorite go-to snacks in the park. But again, unfortunately, it's something that I just don't love. It's very bready. It's not gooey like a Cinnabon cinnamon roll. I don't know. I'm just not the biggest fan of it. But again, it's something you could get all day long here in Magic Kingdom. So I'm not gonna highlight it in this video, but just know that it's here. And another thing that you guys could get for breakfast. Okay, now we are officially on our way to our next stop. And let me just say, it is so nice being able to just walk through Fantasyland, not have to try and dodge strollers and ECVs and people. There's like no one here. I might do this coming to the parks early thing more often. Like, look at how empty this area is. It's usually just jam packed out here, but no, just walk freely. It's so nice. All right, we have made our way over to the Friar's Nook where they are serving breakfast from 9 a.m. till 11 a.m. Here at the Friar's Nook, they actually have three breakfast items and of course, we are getting all three. The Friar's Nook is a little bit hidden in Fantasyland. It's a walk-up quick service stand, kind of next to Storybook Treats where you get ice cream and next to Princess Fairy Tale Hall. But if you don't know it's there, you might just walk right by it without even figuring out that they serve food. Okay, we have picked up all of our food from the Friar's Nook. I brought it over to Pinocchio Village House and let's start with the food I'm most excited to try, the breakfast sandwich. This has sausage, egg, and cheddar and it's served on a pretzel bun with tots for $9.25. Now I must admit, I am a little bit worried this looks a little bit dry. So in case I need backup, I did get myself some packets of ketchup. Hopefully it's not though. Hopefully I don't need it. Let's try it out. This is really good, guys. I don't know if I've ever had a breakfast sandwich served to me on a pretzel roll. <laughs> Typically, for like any sandwich, I love... <laughs> but I am a fan. Typically, I love any type of sandwich served on a pretzel roll. So I shouldn't be surprised that this is so good. It just adds like a little bit extra instead of it just being on bread, just basic old bread. The pretzel roll is the key here. It's really, really good. There's also a, a good amount of cheese. You guys saw that like mini cheese pull situation we had going on. Again, the egg, it's the same like egg and cheese omelet that they had over at the breakfast bowl when we got it from Lunching Pad earlier. Um, same egg and cheese omelet. And again, shockingly, like it's not a bad rubbery egg. There's just enough cheese on here. One thing I think could make this better is if you got a side of the sausage gravy, because they do have sausage gravy just on the side. If you got a side of that and you did a little dunk in the sausage gravy, that would be really good. But on its own, I'm impressed. Let's try with a little bit of ketchup now. Mm. It's perfect with that ketchup, guys. I'm so surprised that this pretzel roll like isn't dry at all. I thought it would be real dry. But no, it's nice and soft, just has that good pretzel-y flavor. They also serve at the Friar's Nook during like lunch and dinner hours. Bratwurst on this pretzel roll with sauerkraut and mustard is really good as well. One of the best hot dogs in the park. I get that often, um, but now I got this breakfast sandwich here and this is even better than the brat. But now let's go for the sausage and gravy tots. This is a side of tots served with sausage gravy for $5.79. We are just eating so many tater tots today, I guess. The Magic Kingdom loves their tater tots. Let's see how they are smothered in sausage gravy. Just as you'd expect, crispy tots with that delicious sausage gravy on top. Pretty good side. And another thing, I wish they kind of like serve maybe like the egg and cheese omelet over this because this would be another good like breakfast bowl situation instead of the chili con carne queso like they have over in tomorrowland the sausage gravy here is really good as well and would make for like a good little breakfast bowl if you will but on their own another thing pretty good and also a huge portion this weighs again like two to three pounds on its own 
easily shareable. We are not done with the Friar's Nook just yet. We still have to try the cinnamon sugar donuts. These are donut holes covered in cinnamon sugar for $5.79. It does come with five of these. And again, these are pretty, pretty big. Almost the size of my sunglasses <laughs> lens here. A pretty good portion on these as well. Let's try them out and see how they taste. Wait, these are so much better than I expected, guys. They almost taste like, you know, like apple cider donuts, just in munchkin form. Nice and fluffy and airy on the inside there. Okay, you can see that. And then the outside in that cinnamon sugar really almost tastes like an apple cider donut. It's bringing me feeling like I'm sitting in Orlando in fall. I wish the weather felt like it was fall. It unfortunately does not. It's hot as hell here. But um, these donuts are really, really good. I didn't expect much from them but they're delivering. I almost didn't get these and I'm really glad I did because honestly, these might be my favorite things of the day. This is far better than the bubble bread that we got over at the lunching pad. If you're looking for something sweet, I would definitely recommend these over lunching pads, cinnamon situation. After spending our whole morning so far on that side of the park, we are finally venturing into the Frontierland area to try another breakfast sandwich. Over here at Westward Ho, which is the small stand across from Pecos Bill, they actually have a chicken, egg, and cheese biscuits, giving me like kind of Chick-fil-A vibes, and I'm very excited to try it out. Here it is, the breakfast biscuit sandwich with cheddar. This has fried chicken topped with a half egg omelet and cheddar for $7.49. Now they also had an option to get this with pepper jack, but guys, let's be real. Respectfully, this looks horrid. This chicken on here does not look like fried chicken at all. It looks like a boiled piece of chicken. I'm really, really hoping it does not taste like a boiled piece of chicken and it's like going to deceive me again. Like the, the sausage breakfast sandwich with, on the pretzel roll deceived me. I thought it was gonna be dry. I think this one is not going to be crispy and not very good based on the looks of it because don't look good, that's for sure. Um, but maybe it'll taste good. I am a little scared to try this, though. So. Uh. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> this is really not good, guys. That chicken, that's... I don't know what kind of chicken they're using here, but it is not crispy fried chicken. It, I don't even think this is fried. This is, at best, baked. Um, <laughs> It really has a horrible flavor. Um, the biscuit is good though. Look, the biscuit is not like your typical Disney biscuit. It looks like it's like buttered and has like a nice crust on it. Biscuit's good, but the chicken. I don't know if I could eat much more of this. <laughs> this biscuit though is slapping. I took the chicken, a bird is trying to attack me. I took the chicken off. The adventure cavalcade's coming. I took the chicken off. I just have egg and cheddar on the biscuit and it's good this way if you can even hear me on to our final stop of the day which honestly might be the also the best breakfast of the day at sleepy hollow fun fact sleepy hollow is actually the only place in magic kingdom that you could get a mickey waffle at a quick service walk-up situation there is another place to get mickey waffles but you have to do a sit down character dining buffet meal so it gets pretty costly this is the best place for a Mickey waffle if you're just looking for something quick. Not only do they have Mickey waffles here at Sleepy Hollow, they also have arguably the best food in the entire park in the Nutella fruit waffle sandwich, which I had to get as well. That's one of my favorite things to eat and I'd say a lot of people's favorite things as well because the line is super, super long. I was standing in it for a while because I wasn't able to find a mobile order pickup time. My fault, I should have ordered, I should have done it ahead of time. And um, I kind of had to be quick because breakfast ends in like nine minutes at this point. So I needed to kind of get through. I was worried I, was, I wasn't gonna get it in time, um, but I kept checking mobile order, kept refreshing, and eventually a mobile order pickup time came through for 10.55 till 11. So I was able to mobile order my breakfast, worked out perfectly, I hopped out of line, and uh, now I'm just waiting for 10.55. Here it is, the moment you've all been waiting for, our Mickey waffle and our Nutella fruit waffle sandwich. Let's start with our Mickey waffle though. It's served with strawberries, powdered sugar, and whipped cream for 7.49. There's also an option to get this waffle with Without the strawberries and whipped cream, you could just get like a regular waffle. And let me say, $7.49 for a Mickey waffle, a big Mickey waffle, 
that's quite an impressive price. I wish these like stuck around all day. I feel like they probably should. We'll load up a bite here. It's so good with the strawberries. I always prefer like a fresh fruit topping on a waffle or a pancake compared to syrup. I just think it tastes a lot better in my opinion. The waffle itself, since I kind of got it towards like the end of breakfast, breakfast there does end at 11. And like I said, it's criminal that they end serving Mickey waffles at 11. I think they should stick around. They're not just a breakfast food. It's an all day dessert. But since it's probably been sitting around for quite a while, it's not as like crispy as your typical Mickey waffle that you get like from the resorts. Oh my God, this fly was flying around and I actually just hit it with my fork. <laughs> but it's not the best Mickey waffle I've had. It's actually my first time having a Mickey waffle from Sleepy Hollow because I usually get what we're trying after this. It's good, it's your Mickey waffle. It's just not the best probably because we got a little too late. Well, we've had our Mickey waffle, but you can't go to Sleepy Hollow without getting the fresh fruit waffle sandwich. This is served with strawberries, banana, blueberries, and chocolate hazelnut spread for $8.49. And let me tell you, this is not the best display for the Nutella fruit waffle sandwich either. It's so messy. The Nutella has melted from the heat. Um, so usually you could eat it and pick it up like a, like a taco almost. But today, I don't think that is going to be possible. It is just... It's, it's all over the place and very, very melty. So fork and knife it is. It doesn't get much better than this. Listening to the riverboat horn, eating my fresh fruit waffle. This is seriously one of the best snacks at maybe all of Disney World, for sure in Magic Kingdom. The fruit with that Nutella, it's honestly even better when it's like melted like this because then it gets like a little warm and it's kind of oozing out of the waffle. Again, the waffle is in its best display. Um, very, very soggy, which is part of the reason I can't fully pick it up today, but I do prefer to probably pick it up and eat it like a taco. Still fantastic. We really saved the best for last here. And not only does Sleepy Hollow serve this Nutella fruit sweet waffle, they also have a savory waffle that is fantastic as well. Another one of my favorite things to eat in the park, it's a sweet and spicy waffle chicken sandwich. So we got that waffle with uh, sweet and spicy fried chicken, a little like tangy vinegary slaw, delicious as well. Let me know down below in the comments whether you are team chicken waffle or team Nutella waffle. I know the comments are going to be kind of mixed here. I can never choose honestly which one I like better. I know my brother loves this Nutella waffle. It's, it, I think it's actually his favorite Disney snack. Overall, Sleepy Hollow is such a great place to grab breakfast or just a snack here in Magic Kingdom, but I still think there's like a little bit more that they can do at Sleepy Hollow. And I'm gonna kind of tie this into comparing the breakfast here to the breakfast options over in Disneyland, because in Disneyland, literally at every single snack stand and every quick service restaurant, just about, they serve breakfast. And not just like any lazy half effort breakfast, like they're kind of doing here. They had that egg and cheddar omelet in almost everything that I ate today. Actually, in every savory offering that I ate today, they had that same egg and cheddar omelet. And over in Disneyland, they just put so much more thought. Everything is so much more unique. It tastes so much fresher. Like all the stuff here I could kind of tell was like sitting out. Um, but over in Disneyland at Corn Dog Castle, at, actually in DCA, they have this like sausage breakfast corn dog. And I think that's something that would be super easy to put over at Sleepy Hollow. They almost have like all the stuff already. All they need is like the sausage and the egg. They're just putting sausage and egg and cornbread batter and topping it with like a raspberry sauce and powdered sugar. I think that's something that would be really good that would fit over there. Also tying in with the waffles, why don't they have a chicken, egg, and cheese situation over at Sleepy Hollow and a waffle, a chicken, egg, and cheese waffle. That sounds so good. Overall, like I said, there's just so many things they could do like Disneyland does. Disneyland, literally the amount of breakfast, breakfast is the best meal to eat in Disneyland. It's unbelievable, but um, we need more of stuff like that here. And I'm not talking just in Magic Kingdom because honestly, I feel like this park out of all of the others, like as of recently, when they got all these breakfast items, now has like some of the most breakfast offerings out of all the parks. They also have quite a few in Animal Kingdom. In Hollywood Studios, you have the Ronto, the breakfast Ronto wrap, and then you have blueberry Mickey waffles over um, from the ice cream shop on Sunset Boulevard. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Epcot, Epcot has like the worst breakfast offerings. I think they have a breakfast a sandwich at Sunshine Seasons and at the popcorn cart over by Creations and Connections. And then other than that, you've just got the France Bakery. And that's 
really it. So overall, I just like to see more breakfast offerings. You know, I love a good breakfast and there's, there's just so many, so many places they could have it and so many more things they could do with the breakfast here. With that being said, there are still two more places around the Magic Kingdom that serve breakfast. One of them is the Crystal Palace. The Crystal Palace is a $48 per adult character dining buffet experience. Not only do they serve breakfast, they also serve lunch and dinner. In my opinion, breakfast is the best meal to come for at the Crystal Palace. It's honestly one of my favorite breakfasts, mainly in part to the churro Mickey waffles. The churro Mickey waffles alone are enough of a reason to book a Crystal Palace breakfast reservation. It's the small Mickey waffles coated in cinnamon sugar. When I tell you earlier, I said, what's better than a Mickey waffle? Well, I know something better than a Mickey waffle, a churro Mickey waffle. They are seriously one of the best breakfast items I've ever had in my life. Absolutely delicious. Um, we're not gonna be covering it today because it's more of like the quick service, the grab and go kind of things. But I do hope to make a Crystal Palace breakfast video soon because I really, really love it there. The other place that I can't forget to mention to grab breakfast in Magic Kingdom is the Main Street Bakery, AKA the Starbucks. Now, obviously they'll have all your coffee, iced coffee, lattes, all that fancy coffee stuff. And then they also have the regular bre breakfast sandwiches that they serve at every other Starbucks and like the, the pastries and stuff. I wouldn't recommend going there. You're in Disney World. Like you should, you should try some of the food that you can only get here. You could go to your local Starbucks back home get any of that food any day. When you're here in Disney, try some of the try some of the unique things that maybe I tried today. With that, we are done here today at the Magic Kingdom, a very early day, and I'm actually heading back to the Grand Floridian because I am currently staying there in a club level suite, which you guys will see a video from very, very soon. So keep an eye out, make sure you're all subscribed. Huge shout out to all my Patreon subscribers. And hopefully this video helps you guys plan what you're gonna eat in Magic Kingdom for breakfast. I will see you guys next time. Bye.